Hey you guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin Server Shop GUI, I said I'd do this plugin for a while now, finally got around to doing it, so start off by installing the plugin and then opening up the config file. The first one to change is slots, this is how many slots will be on the main page. I've only got 9, don't really need that many, but the default is 27. Enable command, enable item, obviously default is off for the item so make sure you turn that on and then set an item. First start, never change this because it will reset the whole of your config file. And then you've got the list, this is the shops. So you've got one, two, we'll just create another one here as an example, so just copy and paste this. So change that to three. And then you've got the different sizes, so obviously you can have 27, 9, 54, any of the ones in the sequence of nines. So obviously I don't want it to be called gold, we'll just do a wool shop so that'll be different icon you just change the icon to whatever you want so we'll just change it to white wall so will ID 1 or 0 for white then the description just leave the same you don't need to change this and then that's it for this file that's added the next shop so just save that then you've got this is your config file so you've got items gold they're the shops then you've got messages and NPCs don't really need to change them unless you want to so if I open up gold, I can just save this as my wall one, so I can just edit this file to make it into the wall one. So this is my first item, instead of gold ingot, I want wool, and I want it to be item ID 1. Obviously you can go through, you can change the sell price, the normal price, the amount of items you get, the name of it. So as you can see there's a display name there, so you can change that. Just make sure the reward is always in a capital, that way it will find it. As you can see this one's got an enchantment, so all you have to do for an enchantment is add that. If you put sell minus one, this means that it won't be able to be sold to the shop. So we'll just keep going through the list. There are a few cool features. So as you can see, money, this means you sell it for money, so this ties in with Vault to any of your economy plugins. Obviously sell zero zero means it's free, so you can change this to whatever you'd like. So just set a price if you want, just set it to 5 and then 2 or whatever you want the sell price to be. So it's really easy to set up. I do like this plugin because it is really simple. It's all done through the config file but soon he's going to be adding commands so you can do it in game. But I want to give it a bit of support now while it is in this stage. I do think it's really easy to set up through the config file anyway. So basically this is that. All you have to do is fiddle around with it, change the prices, make sure they're as you want, and then just save it. And then save it. Obviously, I don't want it saved as gold, I want it saved as wool. So just rename it and save it. And then just close this. So now it's all been changed and it's set up. So all we need to do now is actually go onto Minecraft and test it out. So back to game. All I'll do is reload the server. And obviously originally I set diamond as my shop block, so just open it with a diamond, right click. You can see it says shop, it's got items, and it's only 9 wide because that's what we set it to, gold and wool. If you left click on any of these it'll open up the shop. And then as you can see this is the default one, you'll all see this. You've got 27 slots, it says the item type, this has a custom name, obviously associates to over here the display name. So you can change that to whatever you want it to. Then you've got the price and the sell price, and the type is money. The other type, obviously it says unable to be sold on this one, that's because it's got the minus one in the config file. But some of them have got free, like this one, and then some of them got XP, so you have to sell these ones or buy these ones for XP. I don't have enough XP, so I can't buy or sell it. So I do think this is a really cool feature, being able to sell for experience as well. It does give a use for it, obviously you can use it at the shop. You can also gain levels by mining items like diamonds. So as you can see my XP went up to 8 there. And I can buy this sword but I can't sell it and it is enchanted as you can see from the enchantments on the config file here. So if we go back we can look in our other shops as well. So obviously we created the gold shop and we also created the wall shop so all these items I didn't change any of the prices or anything so they're all set up the same as the other ones so if you wanted a free axe you could buy it there if you wanted a sword and then you've also got the wool in the other one 
So I'll quickly go to wall. And as you can see, all the walls, even enchanted wall, obviously, you can enchant anything because it's done for a config file. So if you wanted to enchant it with knockback, you can. So that's all there. All the walls are there with the IDs. So it's really easy to set up. You've just got to go through and change it all. Not a lot of config needed, really. I mean, if you're setting up a shop, you'll know what you're doing. You've just got to set all the prices and set all the items. It only took me about two or three minutes to set up the config file for this video. It's really easy to set up. Then you can do slash shop NPC create. Then the shop name. So I want this guy to be called Wall Guy. And then you do the name of the shop that you want him to store. So he wants to be the shop for Wall. Well, by the looks of it, there's a player called Wall Guy. But as you can see, it spawns an NPC called Wall Guy. And then he opens up a shop when you right click on him. So I think this is a really cool feature for it as well. You can create little market stalls. You can return and go to the other shops as well, which is good. So this is the basic features for this plugin. It's really easy to set up and use. This is why I've done a massive video on it. I really like this plugin. I'll definitely be using it on my server. There'll be a download link to it in the description below. If any of you have suggestions for other videos, please just leave a comment. Thanks for watching, guys, and please remember to rate, subscribe, and comment. Cheers!